Hello again, a new day, a new test. You know, I was really, really curious to see the impact of these uh, soul filters, you know, on 868 megahertz. And uh, I want to see the impact in the signal chain. So uh, I have my nano VNA like 20 meters away, sending 868 megahertz CV. And there is my antenna, my collinear antenna. Don't laugh about, it's a bamboo, bamboo collinear antenna. And like the people on Discord are saying, a Lambo, a Lambo from Lamborghini. I didn't know that, you know, a Lambo antenna. Bring, bring me the Lambo. I can even write a song. Hey, you bamboo. Bring me the Lambo. <laughs> oh, guys. And uh, of course, you can see my radio running on the screen on 868 megahertz with the same usually gain 12.5 dB. And uh, let me connect the antenna now. We already have a spot there. We can see the beacon. We can receive the beacon. And let's see the maximum the maximum possible okay we reach 60 even 59 some peaks okay 62 let me find the best the best 61 here you know this collinear it's 7.8 db so it have a very how can i say a very narrow beam that's why it needs a really really uh, clever position adjustment vertically horizontally and so on somehow it's too much but uh, the truth is that in my area i don't have too many hot spots so i have to how can I say, I have to, to exploit every little possibility, you know. All the other peaks you got there, there are beams from the other hotspots. Okay, 61, let's say 60 point something here. I mean, I can, I can get a 60. A steady 60, 60. Okay, now very simple. Uh, this one gets connected in between the antenna, but at the end of the cable. That's true, not near the the antenna. And uh, I was trying to have uh, I was trying to have as less uh, connection possible. That's why. I'm using the trick I showed you about having a tip in here for the for the connector, you know. When you have like mother mother, then you can use a piece of wire. Just a piece of wire and uh, you are in business instead of uh, instead of using um, adapters you know each adapter it's losing the signal half db or something even worse sometimes so a piece of wire in between mother you know female and female that's okay i hope you understand me Okay, this one goes in here.
perfect and now uh, let's have the filter in the signal path Okay, let me try the other way because it's looking like good. Yes, we are good here. Now let me have the antenna. You see this sub filter, they really don't, it really doesn't matter if it's in or out, you know, because they are doing this exactly the same job in both directions. There is nothing like a, like a filter or a, um, impedance adapter or something anyway. Okay, so let's have the antenna up. This filter was measured for having like 2.5 dB loses. So let's see if that affects the signal or it helps. Okay. 65. 64. Let me find the best spot or place 64 I 64.3 yes but uh, I was expecting that of course Okay, we have a 63. Yeah, I, I don't I don't reach any any lower than uh, 64 point steady 64 let me see the range here Yeah, and we are almost on 62. I have a peak of 62, but not too much. Let's try again. 62.6, no. Sixty four. Okay, look there. Sixty three. Yes. So if you remember the antenna by itself, it was around sixty, let's say sixty, and we have a sixty two point five, sixty three. So it's exactly like the measurements uh, uh, proves we are losing two point five dB or something 
Anyway, that's that's uh, absolutely normal because that's how much the soul wave itself, you know, uh, getting uh, on the way is getting on the way. But now something else funny. Okay, if you remember, we had and we still have, of course, those signals around 800, 800 megahertz. You know, GSM. Look there, nothing. It's clean clean absolutely clean let me have a better gain or a higher gain in fact twenty eight db Come on up. I need some more. Okay, let me close this. Okay, we are on 802 now. And this is the middle of the GSM transmission anyway. Let me have this peak here. And uh, we have with 42 dB, but let me say 12.5 dB, no, let's see, 28 dB, and we have around 71 dBs with the filter, let's take off the filter, Okay, we are off. And <laughs> look there. It's all around the screen. <laughs> I can't I can't uh, I can't even measure because it's it's so high. And it goes like minus 41. So I may say the filter is doing a really great job. From 41 to 70 something, that's a huge difference. It's, I mean, for 70, I, I don't remember, it was 70. Okay, back. I don't think we're seeing it. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Ah, it's down here. Minus 74. Minus 74. Or 71. Yeah, something like this. And now without the filter. Whoa. Look there. Minus 43, 42, something like this. Anyway, so uh, at least, at least uh, 30 dB of attenuation and okay let's go to 900 megahertz you know the other the other band for gsm look there look at these guys minus 40 or something anyway it's ruin my screen This signal are so strong, can you imagine that with this little piece of wire here, we are still receiving uh, the signals. And it's just one millimeter of wire. And look there. Look. So everything went down to minus 65. 
minus 60 or something, at least 20, 25 dB. So yes, the filter is working nice. The filter is doing the job. But of course, but of course with the expecting losing of 2.5 dB. That's the way it is. Eight hundred sixty-eight. Look there. Uh, we are in the middle now. Of course. Oh yeah. Let's get to the. Let's call it standard gain minus. Okay, twelve point five dB. And. Look there, minus 64 around here. Okay, so that's about the filter and about the antenna and the gain and so on. What can I say? The saw filter is doing a great job. You know, it's uh, attenuating, of course, all the fragrances around 868 with at least 30 dB, as I see it on my radio. And uh, what can I say? Is it okay to have it on the chain? Of course, because it's cleaning the band. It's cleaning the band. But you have to to stand the 2.5, 2.6 dB uh, losing in the signal path. I hope it's useful. Thank you for today, and uh, see you soon with some other news. Like, subscribe, and don't forget to have fun. Bye bye.